more, now, and most importantly, personal. Because when we think about sustainability, that's not the language that we normally have. Normally we think about doing less for some future gain uh, for somebody else. Because actually, when we're talking about health and well-being, or we're talking about indoor environmental quality uh, more generally, or we're talking about acoustics specifically, we are talking something which is very personal to people, which in fact is intensely related to the performance of the business. And we know this, because you've no doubt seen slides like this. Doesn't matter where you are in the world, the information is always presented like this, and it tends to always look the same. We haven't taken that you part, that personal part of it, um, as fundamental as we, as we might have. And so we have failed to answer the most personal question of all, which is really what indoor environmental quality is all about, which is, what's in it for me? And if the question was, how does my building affect my people? Because we know that there's a lot of evidence about the effect of place on people. We've had that for decades, and we've been surprised by how little uptake there has been when you, when you think about the potential business case that can be made. It, in organizations, the two biggest expenses are people and place. And very seldom have organizations done what we ask them to do, which is to think about the relationship between those two uh, from a purely economic point of view. The three things to think about, I like to think of them in terms of environment, experience, and economics, and the argument goes something like this. You provide the environment which enhances the experience, which enhances the economics. And so although, even though we started with 44 separate measures of productivity, we settled on six. And you can see them there, six relatively straightforward categories. They've never done it, in my experience, on a place-by-place -place basis. And yet we invest in sustainability, and we look at what the effect of, of a business is, but we never connect the two. And it's all about money at the end of the day. The technology is an enabler, but the value proposition when you're taking real estate is quite strong. So I think we're on a bit of a revolution when it comes to indoor environmental quality, simply by the ability to know what's happening and the knock-on effect that that might have in the real estate industry. So when I talk to clients, I say, don't assume that compliance is enough, don't assume that certification is enough, because the way we think about sustainability is about to fundamentally change, and it's changing already.